Helping you live healthy this morning, a blood test used to detect prostate cancer may be more effective than previously thought. Prostate cancer is the second leading cause of cancer deaths in men across the country, just behind lung cancer. That's according to numbers from the American Cancer Society. Joining us this morning to talk about the significance behind this data, Dr. Barrett McCormick, a urologic oncologist with Baptist MD Anderson Cancer Center. Good morning to you. Good morning. Thanks for having me. Absolutely. So, doctor, this data is particularly true for, for black men. Uh, explain that. What does that mean? Well, you know, uh, one of the biggest issues with prostate cancer screening is that we know there's a risk of overdiagnosis and over treatment in men in general. And some of the previous studies that have looked at this have led to recommendations from a national standpoint that have really discouraged prostate cancer screening. And we know this has had negative implications. The newest study that has come out has looked at about 30 years worth of data and that has actually shown a, a very significant benefit um, that was previously unknown regarding screening for prostate cancer in all men, but of particular importance in the African-American population. We know that African-Americans, uh, generally speaking, have uh, an increased lifetime risk of developing prostate cancer and about a two times the risk of death compared to uh, other men. So this is very, very important uh, when we look at that population in particular. And let's talk about screenings because early prevention, early intervention, what types of screenings are available for prostate cancer? Great question. So conventional screening is the use of a blood test called a prostate specific antigen or a PSA. And this can be done either through a patient's urologist or through his primary care physician. Um, oftentimes that's accompanied by a prostate exam that can be done in the office very quickly. Um, at our center and at other urologists are also now incorporating the use of MRI technology. And there are other blood tests that are available as well, but conventional screening is a, a PSA and a, a digital rectal examination. And what do you say to someone who is pushing off getting that prostate screening? A lot of people say, ah, you know what? I'm not there yet. I can deal with that later maybe next year. Guidelines recommend that men who are at average risk for prostate cancer should start having discussions with their physician at about the age of 55. Those men that we know that are at increased risk, such as the African-American population, or men that might have a brother or a father that were diagnosed with prostate cancer should probably start a little bit earlier than that. I say to all my patients that prostate cancer is very, very highly treatable and in a lot of situations, it's very highly curable, but we have to find it to be able to, to do that. And so delaying screening, putting it off, um, potentially puts a patient at risk of detrimental effects from it. And so I'm a big believer in screening um, and we are happy to see patients here to, to help with screening, um, talk to patients about their concerns. Um, it's, it's very, very important and it could very easily save their lives. Obviously, screening and early intervention is critical, but what are the signs that people should be looking for that something's not right and they need to go see a doctor right away? You know, that's one of the really scary things about prostate cancer is that it's one of those that typically doesn't have symptoms associated with it. And so we usually do find it through screening tests. In some situations, as men get older, they may have urinary changes that can include a weak stream, getting up at night, frequency, things of that nature. But in a lot of circumstances, that's not related to cancer at all. In any respect, if patients are having those symptoms, I do recommend they discuss it with their doctor and that might lead to additional screening. All right, Dr. Barrett McCormick with Baptist MD Anderson, thank you so much for your time this morning. We appreciate what you're doing. Thank you, you for having me.